It's a story with twists and turns, but ultimately the happy ending many were praying for. A baby born prematurely abroad is back home for the first time in Minnesota. Baby Grayson and his parents spent 51 days in the NICU and an even longer time battling a foreign government for legal documents. WCCO's Adam Duxter shares the heartwarming homecoming. <laughs> the reason this hug is so special is because of the one that's about to come right after it. Grayson Phillips, home in Minnesota for the first time. <laughs> we made it. We're here. We did it. Born three months early, thousands of miles away at a Brazilian hospital, Grayson spent months in the NICU. His life itself a miracle. Now with every hug to great grandpa. How do I put that into words? Uh, it's just an incredibly wonderful moment. In squish from grandma. I can't even explain it. It's, I'm shaking. I'm so happy. He's beautiful and he's gorgeous and he's healthy and he's home with us now. The feeling is that the real miracle is that he's home. It's a very surreal, odd mix of emotions right now. In May, the Phillips fell out of options. Everything they needed to get Grayson home behind red tape in government. Then our story aired and the calls started coming. Eventually, a passport came too. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for the media. And I want that to be very clear. Um, it was especially uh, your story, Adam, on WCCO that got picked up um, by the Brazilian media. That had a ripple effect and it was immediate. This embrace, <laughs> months in the making. I didn't know when I'd be able to hold them. My heart's beating 100 miles an hour, and I'm so happy that they're home, and I get to babysit. Welcome home. You've gone through so much, little Grayson. At MSP, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Stories for the rest of their life. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, maybe the most important thing after being born at just over two pounds, Grayson is healthy. His mom says all that's left to do is get a social security number and figure out who gets to babysit first.